Now we're focused on working with the mayoral combined authority and our partners in central government on a plan to reopen disused rail lines um, and there's two that we're working on at the moment. One is the line that you've mentioned which goes from the old Sheffield Victoria station out to Stocksbridge in the northwest and then another from again from Sheffield Victoria through southeast Sheffield through North East Derbyshire into Chesterfield. Lots of people are commuting in to Sheffield from Stocksbridge and from Chesterfield North East Derbyshire and by having tram train services running on those disused rail lines we think that it would take off um, uh, vehicle traffic from some heavily congested roads such as Peniston Road, the A61 in the northwest, but also the Parkway um, and A57 in the southeast. We are also looking at where we could extend the tram within the city. And there are regularly, if you ask people, um, regularly ideas that come forward about where the tram could go. The two hospitals are a good um, example of that, but also um, Exor Road. We're working hard right now to, to see what is feasible um, and and where could be where could, this could be done practically in a uh, cost efficient and timely manner. These are big capital and infrastructure investment programs, and we are working on developing a big credible bid so that we can go to government and say, here is our plan for the expansion of the tram across Sheffield and into other parts of South Yorkshire. But the first two components of that are the reopening of disused rail lines, which we think would remove congestion from some of the um, most heavily congested routes in the city, open up new development corridors through the northwest and southeast of the city, and give more people access to a low carbon mass transit system.